Hey guys, and I hope you enjoy the view for this video. It's really beautiful out right now. I just wanted to sit down and do a quick update video on a couple of things going on. Um, I want to talk about some new gear. I want to talk about future trips, future YouTube videos that I'm working on, updates with my store and travel plans and all that stuff. So I'm just going to touch upon everything and just kind of have a sit down chat type of video. The first thing I'm going to talk about is some new gear that I just got in the mail over the last week. As you may know, this YouTube channel does make money and it helped fund my through hike that I just did on the Appalachian Trail and that was amazing. But now that I'm not out through hiking, I wanted to kind of use that money and get some gear that I've had my eye on for a while that's a little bit pricey. So it's a lot of work making these YouTube videos every week so I thought I would order some things and kind of treat myself a little bit. So the first thing that I'm most excited about is this watch. This is the Koro's Apex Pro. And just to let you know, these three pieces of gear I'm gonna talk about, I am not sponsored by them. They're just things that I really wanted and I spent my own money on. Um, so this watch I've wanted for so long, mostly because of the battery life. So in full GPS mode, tracking my runs, my hikes, my workouts and everything, this could last up to 40 hours, which is a huge upgrade from the last garment that I had. Um, I had a lot of issues with my last watch dying during a hike because I wasn't that good at charging it. So I just really needed a watch with a better battery. And I'm really happy with this so far. I've been using it for about half a week, tracking tons of hikes and runs and workouts, and it's performing great. Um, it's really pricey, it's about like $500, but I like buying new watches every couple of years because it really just gives me more motivation to work out and start something new, which I'm trying to get back into running, so <laughs> I thought this watch would help keep me on track for that. The second piece of gear I have is this hoodie from Senshi Designs. I first saw this hoodie online when I was looking for a lightweight mid-layer for my through hike. And I think I saw a picture of someone wearing this on Instagram and just the picture alone makes it look really ultra light. It's like really thin but soft and it looked like just what I was looking for. So I went on the website, went to order one and they're out of stock. And when they do restocks, um, I tried to order it then, but they sell out so fast. So I figured if there's a product that is ultra light and that people are wearing and promoting and they sell it really fast, it must be something really good. So I pre-ordered this a couple months ago and it took two months, Got finally got it in the mail. I took this on one hike and it kept me so warm that I ended up having to take it off. And at only three ounces, this was like a no brainer. Now it does sound great, but there's a couple of things I didn't like about it. As you can see, the hood <laughs> um, comes up like really high right here. And I don't really like a lot of stuff going on right here. I feel kind of like constricted. So I didn't love that part. And also the arms were just like really thin. I like baggy clothes and just having this really tight on my arms was a little uncomfortable, but once you put it on and kind of stretch it out, you don't really notice that. So I'm happy with this so far. So my third piece of new gear is also another mid-layer hoodie, and it is this Appalachian Gear Company Alpaca hoodie. And I've seen this a lot on the Appalachian Trail and online, and it looked really cool, but they're kind of expensive. It's 100% alpaca. Um, I don't know much about that fabric, but it seems like people are raving about it. So I decided to finally order it as a nice comfy mid-layer. It's definitely not as lightweight as the Senshi Design hoodie, but it looks a lot more comfortable. And I got a men's large just so it's oversized. This I'll wear if I'm trying to go ultra light and get the biggest weight to warmth ratio but I would wear this one if I know I'm gonna be hanging around at camp for a long time and just wanna be super comfortable. And also, if you don't know, I'm a big snowboarder. I love lots of different winter activities and I'm just excited to have a nice, soft hoodie for my winter activities this year. So really happy with this, really happy that it's big and baggy on me. And I actually got it in the mail today, so haven't really put it to use, but I'm excited to try it out. 
So those are the three pieces of gear that I just got that I'm really excited about. I love gear and I love buying gear and my collection is getting kind of big. So I just recently started selling some used gear on my website, which is nehampshahiker.com. And I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. I might have some gear for sale. I have some new things that I'm going to put on my website. Um, sometimes I get like subscription boxes and I have multiples of things or I don't know, I just have a lot of stuff. So some things are used, some things are new, but you can check that out to see what I have for sale right now. And I also have a lot of merch, like this New Hampshire t-shirt. You could also find on my website. So just a little plug for that. <laughs> it's starting to rain right now, so I'll try to go quick. Next, I'm gonna talk about work for a second. So if you don't know, I own a gift shop in Meredith, New Hampshire. And it's been great because I've met so many people that watch my YouTube videos. They come and visit me at work and it's really cool to have all those conversations about YouTube, the AT and hiking. And it just makes work a little more fun sometimes when I'm trying to get a lot done. So <laughs> thank you for everyone who's visited me. Um, Work right now, the summer was the busy season, but I'm actually still going into the office a ton. I used to have two employees and now I have one, so I'm going in a little more. And I'm also getting ready for all the fall fairs happening in New Hampshire. I usually go and set up a booth and sell my New Hampshire t-shirts and puzzles and other kinds of things that I have in my gift shop at these fairs. So this year I have the Sandwich Fair and the Deerfield Fair that I'm gonna set up a booth. So if anyone watching this is going to those, make sure you come and say hi to me, cause that will be fun. Also, I'm working on a secret project that I mentioned in a previous video, and I think I'm almost ready to announce what that is. I think you guys will really enjoy it. It's not just something from my store. I think it's something everyone will be able to enjoy. I've been needing to make little changes here and there before I officially release it, but I will definitely let you guys know when it is here. Now for some hiking plans. Um, fall foliage season is just beginning right now. I've just noticed the leaves starting to change in the last couple days. So I'm definitely going to be doing some leaf peeping hikes. Um, a couple of things I really want to do is the Pemi Loop in New Hampshire, which is a 30, I don't know, it's a 35 mile trail over a bunch of 4,000 footers. And I might do that with my friends as like a two night backpacking trip, but that I would love to film. Um, and it would be so cool to do that in the fall. I'm also working on my 52 with the view hikes, which I think will be really beautiful hikes to do at this time of year. And once winter comes in December, I do want to start doing a couple 4,000 footers in the winter season because I haven't done very many of those and I want more winter hiking experience. For future videos on this channel, I think I have a couple more Appalachian Trail themed videos that I'm going to put out. I do want to start working on my Appalachian Trail documentary, um, kind of put all my videos together and kind of tell a story in like a one to one and a half hour video. I started it, but I'm still thinking about the direction that I wanna take the video, and I don't really have much experience making a documentary, so I'm putting a lot of thought into it. Haven't really started doing much, but I think I'm gonna start to focus and really work on that project. I think that will be a really cool video to have my whole experience in just one place, so I'm excited to share that with everyone when it happens. <laughs> And I mentioned earlier in this video that I am getting into running and that's because I think I'm going to sign up for a marathon. I've done two marathons before, but this marathon I want to sign up for is a big deal. And I do want to train for this marathon. I haven't been very good at training in the past races, but I'm going to try to take this seriously and have a good successful marathon. And that's something I was really excited for this Koros um, watch that I got because you can actually upload training plans onto this watch. So on the website, I found a marathon training plan, uploaded it to the watch and every day it tells me exactly how far I need to run to achieve my marathon goal. So I'm taking it seriously. I'm really excited about that. If you wanna keep up to date with everything I have going on, you can follow me obviously on YouTube. You can subscribe. You can also follow me on Strava, see all my different hikes, workouts, and runs that I'm doing. I post most of that there. And also on Instagram, I haven't been posting a lot, but I am actually going to work on 
reels. I have a couple reels ideas, <laughs> so I think those will be fun to do. And I do post stories a lot, so that is at nahamsha.hiker. So thank you for watching this update video. I feel good now I got like all that information out and I hope you guys found that interesting. I will see you next week with another video and until then have a good one. Bye. Wow in two minutes after I just finished filming that it started to downpour. That timing was amazing.